the Center for Down Syndrome Research and Treatment at UCSD is a new initiative, but it builds on a lot of prior energy and work and dedication, uh, work and uh, energy that came both from the parent community and also from the scientists, the folks that I've had a pleasure to work with over the last many years. Uh, it really aims to provide the very best quality care for people with Down syndrome, both children and adults. It builds this on the basis of a terrific medical team, both in the pediatric domain and the adult care domain. And it links that clinical care with clinical trials and importantly with basic science research into the biology of Down syndrome. Our lab has been focused very much on two things. The first is uh, a better understanding of the biology of brain circuit formation uh, in development. And a second area has been to pursue in more detail what's the cause of Alzheimer's disease in people with Down syndrome. In mouse models of Down syndrome, and almost certainly in people with Down syndrome, circuits are abnormal because the normal balance between excitation of circuits and inhibition of circuits is out of kilter. And what's out of kilter is principally that brain circuits are not firing as actively as they could because there's too much inhibition. So one whole set of projects asks the question, what genes are responsible, how do they work, and how could we find medicines that would reset the balance, would bring the excitation and inhibition back into perfect balance. We know now, as a result of the work in the lab, that one particular gene, out of very, very many, one particular gene plays a really important role. That's the gene called the amyloid precursor protein, or APP for short, and that's the gene which is mutated in families in which Alzheimer's disease is inherited. So now we understand that that gene is involved, but now the question is why and how. And so the work in the lab is really feverishly pursuing those questions, and we think we have some really good ideas, not just about how it happens, but how to make it better. Patients with Down syndrome are thought to have an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease when they're adults. And therefore, we have the ability to make that diagnosis at its earliest stages. And if that's the case, we would be able to offer these patients the ability to participate in clinical trials targeting Alzheimer's disease at the earliest points possible. You know, people have asked me in the past, how can I help? Uh, sometimes it's uh, a pat on the back, and other times it's a check, and that's great. But I can just tell you that it takes a whole village to raise a good idea to create a new treatment for Down syndrome. So that whole group of people working together will achieve the goal of the center, which is really simply that people with Down syndrome should live lives that are happier, more satisfying, and more independent. And quite frankly, in my heart of hearts, it would be so great if we could one day say to those folks, you can have Down syndrome, but you don't have to worry that you will ever experience the problems with Alzheimer's disease.